Santa Pod Raceway is located in Poddington, Bedfordshire, England. It's Europe's first permanent drag racing venue for quarter mile and eighth mile racing. It was built on a disused Second World War airbase, previously known as RAF Poddington, and it was used by the 92nd Bomber Group. The drag racing venue opened in Easter 1966 and is now the home of European drag racing and has substantially grown over the past 52 years. It hosts the first and last round of the FIA and FIM UEM European Drag Racing Championship along with the British National Drag Racing Championships. Throughout the racing season, Santa Pod holds many different events, catering for almost every type of vehicle. Fords, BMWs, Vauxhalls, Volkswagens, etc. And for a small fee, you can take your car down the strip. I previously took my Volkswagen Passat taxi down the strip and done a 16 second quarter mile, which isn't too shabby, but more of that another time. But what we're here to see, what Bug Jam is, what it has to offer, and a sneak peek of us preparing for Bug Jam 33. With several high top tents and a main stage, and also the wigwam, there is a large selection of music entertainment in the evening. So, all you ravers, get out there with your glow sticks and go get mashed up. Bug Jam is a true Volkswagen festival, bringing to life the Volkswagen and campervan culture. This is one of Europe's largest Volkswagen events, with drag racing, run what you brung, show and shine, stunt displays, fun fair, and as it is a family friendly event, they also have a little buggers kid zone for all those under 10s with many different activities. There is also a fancy dress theme. This year's is Heroes and Hippies, heroes being World War II commemorating the 75th anniversary of D-Day. Or hippies, free love, blunts, hmm, <laughs> need I say more? There will also be a cars for sale section, so be sure to hit that subscribe button to see whether I come home with another VW. This year, as our group has grown, we have got ourselves club camping, so we can all camp together. I believe as it stands, we have about 14 VWs going. The main benefit of this is that you have an area reserved for yourselves. You don't all have to arrive at the same time to be able to camp together. For example, most of us have got the early bird tickets and we will be going on Thursday. But there is a few that will have work or other commitments, so they can arrive on the Friday and still be able to camp with us. Even though Bug Jam is only a weekend, you want to be well prepared. Here you can see we're just trying out a drive away warning, making sure everything is there. We have two event shelters, two barbecues, plenty of food and a lot of alcohol. Remember this folks, there's no glasses, no glass bottles are allowed on site. There is food stalls and bars to buy your food and drink there, however it is cheaper to take your own. One last tip, it may be summer so bring your sunscreen. Always prepare for the cold, even on the evenings or even maybe a sudden downpour because after all this is England. And finally, one last little tip, do not forget anything, because once you're on site, you're not allowed to leave. Um, so, I hope you found this informative, and um, there can be found much more on the website, just check out Santa Pod. Enjoy your weekend, and I'll be back after Bug Jam 33. Love and peace guys, love and peace.